Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. And today we are continuing our Ecto-1 build. We have issue 21 right here, and the parts for stage 75. I have no idea what this is, so let's crack it open and see what we got. And here are the parts we get with this issue. We have the front left fender plating, and then a bunch of pieces for the spotlight, the uh, base bracket, cup lens, rear cup, rear lens, and then we have a switch cover and a whole mess of screws. All right, for this first part, we're gonna put this uh, uh, plating on, and there are three screw bases, and it's real hard to see black on black, but there are three screw holes right next to the hood. So it should just slide right in, if you can line it up properly. There we go. And this will be uh, attached from the bottom with three BP screws. All right, and there we go. Just a little bit of silver trim put right in there. Next up, we're going to bring the car in on its side, just like this. The hood does not want to stay shut. We're going to take cable U off of the front of the base of the car. This is the door switch for the front driver's side door. And it's going to go oriented much like this right here. It should slide right in just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, uh, wire cover here, or the um, switch cover, we're going to orient it so that that little notch in it is facing towards the top of the car and the front of the car. We're going to place it just like this and we're going to use EM screws to hold it in place. All right, look at that. Switch is ready to go and just waiting for a door. All right, this next part's just a tad bit tricky. First, we're gonna take cable S. This is the very long ceiling light. And we're gonna wave it through, uh, weave it through the frame of the car here, just like so. we we'll to make sure that we get that in there, just like that, uh, so that it isn't pinched whenever we put on the next piece. And next up is gonna be the front left fender itself. Okay, and that is gonna slide on right here. And when it lines up, you'll notice there are these two screw bases and these two screw bases. And they're gonna line up with holes here. Uh, like these two holes right here will match up with these two here. These two holes will take JM screws and these two will take LM screws coming in from underneath. Okay, and with everything said and done, the left side of the car should look like this, with it nice and attached, and coming to the top of the car, we've got this nice silver trim here, and the fender's coming right up to it. Next up, we're gonna assemble the spotlight. And the first thing we're gonna do is take the cup and the lens here. We're just going to put those together. It's kinda of hard to see, but there's a little tab right up there. And along the rim, there's a little notch right there. Uh, that'll help keep it lined up. So it only goes the one way. And the pattern is appropriately displayed and then we'll take the rear cup and that is going to go right on there don't believe that's keyed in any way it doesn't appear to be and we use an RP screw right through there to hold it in place all right 
And with that in place, we can take the rear lens uh, and we can push this in. Now, mine has a little pattern here. That'll go on the inside, so it's nice and smooth here. And these are just held in friction, I guess. Uh, there's no screw, no glue, nothing like that. Now, of course, you can glue it in, but it does seem to hold okay. So, uh, both lenses. So we seem to be okay there. All right, next up, we're gonna take the bracket here, and this is gonna fit right on the end of the spotlight. Right there, you got a hole there, and that's gonna line up just like this. There does seem to be a little bit of a notch to keep it uh, angled properly, and we're gonna use an SP screw to hold it in place. All right, and even with this thing uh, as tight as I can make it, there's still a lot of play here. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong, but uh, I mean, it's not coming off, and that screw is uh, in as far as I can get it to go. So maybe it's supposed to be this way. And then what we'll do is we'll take it and we just slide it in, here we go, into the bracket just like this and there we go there's an RP uh, screw that'll go in there all right well this is it everything in place this does this just seems really, really loose to me, but these screws are about as tight as I can get them. Maybe I'll uh, give it another shot and see what I can do off screen, but this does complete this stage. All right, this stage is complete. I can say that I fiddled around with this and after uh, quite a bit of time and several different screwdrivers, I was able to get it nice and tight so it doesn't flop around anymore. So that's a good thing. Uh, but the car is certainly coming along quite nicely here. I love the uh, uh, fender is now attached. We've got some more of the uh, cabling uh, properly placed. Uh, I, I think this is coming along nicely. If you liked the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.